I'm happy to have in studio with me from the Mason County Economic Development Council, it's Director Lynn Longin. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Seems like it's been a while since we've chatted here. It I has guess. been. It's a whole been, new year. Yeah. 2017. How right. was 2016? You give it a letter grade? I think 2016 was a letter grade. I'm going to say about a B. Okay. Always room for improvement, but not right. too bad. That's right. It's perfect. Right. So what I are think so- 2017 is going to be an A, though. A. Strong A. <laughs> what were some of the things that that you look back on and go, man, that was a good thing. That right. that was a good thing for the area. I think um, helping Sierra Pacific's been big. Mm-hmm. You know, getting them up and running. They're so far ahead of schedule. That's a big deal. And um, sometimes I, I think it's just such a thing that's it's there. They're doing so well that I forget to remind myself how lucky we are. Mm-hmm and how those jobs are coming along. When I was talking to them last week, they're up to about 80 right now. They had a job fair last Friday. You know, that's they're gonna be hiring 120 more jobs. Yeah. So um, I think that's really big. And then of course, Gem Shavings, getting them out at Mill 5, and um, it's not 200 jobs, it's about four right now, um, but they're good jobs, sure. and that's the start. It's a good start. We also helping um, Fraser um, Metalworks, and we're working with Lynch Creek Farm um, with their expansion up there and the infrastructure. So there's and a lot of good stuff. There is, and we've worked on six ac- active RFPs this uh, year for recruitment, which is quite a few. Um, and I think there'll be more. I know there will be more in 2017. Very cool stuff. And the EDC itself got a new website at choosemason.com. A new yes. fresh update yes. look to that. There's and- a few places in there where it says still under construction. We're working on that. Um, it's a little difficult for staffing. Oh, you yeah. know, we have three staff, mm-hmm. so um, bear with us. But we're working on it. and. We're getting a lot of new information as we speak. Um, we have an intern that's working on collecting some of that data so that we can get it put in within the next few weeks. What else are you guys looking forward to in the year 2017? I think a move to the downtown we area? We are. The moving down here into the PUD Customer Service Building. Um, we're really excited about that. should be the end of the month. Okay. Um, wow. First of February, somewhere in the first part of February. Yeah. And it's I we stop by we can't we're so excited they're like let us build it Lynn and yeah. I'm like we're so excited Can we just ch- check it out yeah. I just want to take a yeah. sneak peek so we stop by and it's going to be a good partnership I think yeah. and I just think the being downtown is going to be good for us yeah um, to be down here and closer to what's happening mm-hmm. yeah what else are you looking at um, I think business recruitment this year is going to be a big thing um, we're going to of course we've taken some of the appropriations and we're going to use that for business recruitment <clears throat> um, trying to uh, recruit uh, foreign direct investment so um, I've got a trip planned to China with the Thurston County EDC in March. Okay. This is a big thing. We've never done that before. Um, really working on developing those relationships with the Chinese market and seeing what we can bring back into our community. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a big priority. And building, c- continue to build our resource of um, our toolbox of resources for the small businesses and existing businesses. So we have some state programs. We have. Um, like curb for example and there's you know some state um, programs right now that maybe we haven't utilized and so to continue to bring those and make our businesses aware of them that they're out there and to help them grow and expand and remain healthy Mm -hmm. Um, working with the port to develop an aerospace park at the old fairgrounds um, we've um, this is not a, a given yet, but we've definitely got the nods and yes, let's do this. So we're going to start working on that in 2017. And this is to kind of go along with the FAA right. decisions that it there must be, if you're going to do something there, it has to be aviation. Right. Well, of. the Department of Commerce, um, they have a huge um, bucket of um, aerospace companies and suppliers and, and, you know, they're running out of room on the i5 corridor yeah. i mean let's just be real yeah. um and so we're in a perfect position for that we're we're ready for it and so now we have to 
put together a plan and a proposal and go after some of those businesses that are looking to expand. Last week or the week before, it's been such a long time since we talked, there was the legislative send-off. What were some of the things that the Mason County EDC would like to see its uh, representatives, Drew McEwen, Dan Griffey, and uh, Tim Sheldon, as they move over to Olympia this week? Uh Um, Some of them are is to continue to build programs for infrastructure, move um, forward the transportation plan, and also, you know, the Mason County parts of that, if there's any opportunity to move them forward rather than waiting till 2019 to start the Belfair Bypass, sure. can we move it forward? Um, we've asked them to look for that. We've also asked them that any rulemaking agencies, as they're making rules, that they take into account before making those rules the economic impacts. So um, this is something that Department of Transportation has been doing for the last few years and we've seen good success from that. So we want all of the agencies that are doing any rulemaking to do the same thing. Interesting. All right. Oh, very good. Again, you can find more on the Mason County EDC on their website, choosemason.com. Otherwise, weekly here with Lynn Longan on Daybreak and before too long, end of the month, you'll be able to visit them right in downtown Shelton. That's right. Lynn, thanks so much. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Do you know you have access to the fastest internet in Washington State? Switch to iFiber Communications right now and take advantage of our special offers. Pay only $29.95 for 100 megabit high-speed internet or get three months of internet absolutely free. That's right, $29.95 for 100 megabit speeds or three months of internet free. Shop, stream, and game like never before with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Call 360-427-4000 or check us online at iFiber.com. TV. Subject to credit approval, valid on a 24-month contract. 